Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're working on the 335. Uh, we did finally get in some carbon fiber for this car. There have been a little bit of flaws on the bottom of the bumper I didn't like. So you know, I went ahead, went with some carbon fiber splitters on both sides, it'll look super sick. Um, I, I, want, I was thinking about getting some cheaper ones and wrapping in carbon fiber, but I was just like, that's so janky. So we're gonna go ahead and go with OEM carbon fiber in the front. I also have some carbon fiber pieces coming in for the rear. So super excited to show you guys that when it gets here, but the other stuff is from ta uh, Taiwan, and this stuff is from the United States. So it came in a lot sooner than expected. Also some more good news that my, my, my MacBook finally came in. So that means I'll be able to edit and I mean, that means my videos will be more reliable. When I say like a video is coming out this day, it's coming out that day. I finally got my MacBook, finally got everything situated, downloaded all the programs. So that's all good to go. But in the next video, um, what do you want to do exactly in the next video to your car for the first thing? I don't really. All right, so we just got a box from Keys Motorsports. We didn't want to open it up so we can wait for you guys so you guys can see it. Uh, should we open them right now or in the next video? Uh, let's do the next video. Next video. All right, let's let them, you know, wait for it. <laughs> Ponder a little bit. So yeah, guys, uh, headlights and uh, they're aftermarket ones, so it's gonna be super sick. These are from Keys Motorsports, so you yeah, already know the quality's on point. So we're super excited to install those. Probably be installing them in the next video before we actually get on the bumper and everything. You guys saw the car. It's came such a long way. It's all put together. For those of you guys who have not seen the last video, which you probably should, the whole front end is really coming together here. Once we put in the headlights, we can put in the, red, uh, the radiator support bar, and then we can uh, install the bumper once it gets here. I believe it's coming on Wednesday, which is tomorrow for you guys, but um, obviously the video is going to be in a, like a day or two later than that. We'll see when this gets uploaded. Without further ado, let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to remove, the, I'm going to push the car a little bit back, and then we're gonna go ahead and install these carbon fiber splitters and hopefully it looks bomb. My heart, you think you really own me? Not a start, it's the feels like the old me. All right, guys, so something that I've been noticing, every day I leave this car out in the rain, this wrap ends up getting worse and worse, and we ended up sealing it. Like, this fender we ended up sealing, this door we ended up sealing, but still, Right here, we had a little bit of bubbling. Ended up having to peel the door just now, and we, uh, we, you know, tucked it back in. We did that off camera. Um, that's just a dent. No worry about that. Um, but yeah, this wrap is just one of the worst quality wraps I've ever seen. It's, this brand is named Hexus. I don't, it's not the worst quality. I mean, we were able to wrap it, but the fact that it was able to peel and that door we did so long ago, the fact it was able to peel like a week later is not a thing. Like. On an Avery or 3M, it's already hard. It becomes like one with the car. And if you want to peel it, you end up actually ripping it in pieces from how hard it is. And that's how it's supposed to be. I mean, Avery, 3M, definitely Hexus, forget it. I can only get this color in Hexus. So I guess the people that do it probably use some glue or something to seal it from all the edges because I mean, this, there's nothing to hold this thing down. I mean, this wrap is terrible. I'm just gonna tell you guys from here on out, um, if this ends up peeling, I'm gonna have to end up probably rewrapping the entire car or um, probably painting the whole car getting it painted so for those of you guys who don't like the color i guess it's not going to be a more of a permanent thing but we'll see i mean it's holding up perfectly in the middle it's just the corners i don't know why um we're right now we're putting some uh 3m sealer tape and then over that we'll use a little bit of this uh kind of like this glue to seal it from the edges if it somehow peels i'm done gonna unwrap all this and then we're gonna make more content obviously on either repainting it or wrapping it all in another color Everybody's still staring at me You fake it then MTV And you don't choose your words carefully Well I've been running hopelessly Seems like everybody's still staring at me You fake it then MTV And you don't choose your words carefully Cause I've been feeling down, 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 down all right, guys, I didn't want to just end the video. Uh, I noticed when I was editing, we just did the lip, and the lip was cool and all, but I don't want to just make it by itself. It's kind of, the video was kind of short, and I know you guys have like, ex, you know, pretty decent long videos, so um, probably gonna upload this by 1 p.m. instead of 12. But anyways, Burger Geeks, a long time ago, they sent me out some LED lights for the interior for, uh, for me to test out, and I've never actually installed them because I never actually really wanted to do it, to be honest, like I really didn't care for it. But I was like, you know what? 
Um, EICC, it is yellow, it is kind of old looking. I want to see how much of a difference it makes, and if I don't like it, I'll put it back. If I do like it, I'll keep it. So why not try it out, you know? Now there's a lot of bulbs in this car that needs to be replaced. Let me try to show you guys all the bulbs here. All these guys have got to get replaced in the car. Um, I think these are just extras, so... I don't know if it dies out. I have extras. I don't know why they sent me those. But um, let's just go ahead and try installing some of these and seeing how they come out. Placing is the one down there. Uh, I think I have to remove some bolts for that one. Uh, the one up here, the middle, and the two side ones. The one underneath, uh, you know, the sun visor, the sun shades. And uh, the one back here. And I believe there's one in the trunk. I'm not too sure. Let's see. Yeah, if I can figure out a way to get that out, we'll be placing that bulb as well. So I get back to you guys when all that stuff is replaced, and I'll show you guys how it looks. But here is the before with the yellow LED lights. So this piece came from the back of this guy once I actually popped it out. Um, I'll show you guys how to pop this out in a second here. But basically, it just goes back there. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to fit the new lights in there. If it doesn't work, then I'm not gonna do the rest of the car. If it does work, then I'll do the rest of the car. Um, but basically, how I got it out is that I went ahead and removed these latches. There's just one screw under there. See me the other side. I put my hand back here and uh, I popped out these tabs on each side. There is uh, there are these metal tabs on each side. I don't know if you guys can see that, but basically you just gotta push them down until you pop it out, and that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to put in the lights now for the 500th time, and hopefully it works. I'm tired of running round, 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 round for the fix right, So we just got all the interior lights on the top. Um, we still have these bottom ones to so get these bottom ones. If you guys never actually removed them. There's four bolts here, remove it, take the whole under tray out, and then replace the bolt from the top. All that by four T20s. Once you get that out, uh, this whole tray comes down, and then you just got you just have to unplug this bulb and replace the bulb. So you just gotta replace that bulb real quick, and then uh, this whole under, pretty much the footwell should light up in white. I mean, it's gonna light up in white. All right, guys, so the white interior lights are in, and honestly, it makes the aluminum and the brown leather stand out, which I really, really, really like. I didn't think I like it, but look at that. It actually looks super sick. This is all the garbage ones that I accidentally broke. Luckily, they gave me some spares here. But yeah, it looks really sick, actually. And uh, even the trunk. You guys really can't see it right now because it's daylight outside. It's right there. Everything, you know, fits perfectly. You just have to take it out, take your time. Um, I ended up breaking the ones up there, but I finessed it because, you know, your boy's Arab. He does that type of stuff. And uh, it worked out. So yeah, it looks really sick. Um, let's conclude with, and let's go on with the rest of the video. Let me push it out of the garage a little bit so we can actually see it. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna lie guys. This is not exactly how it, I pictured it. I'm gonna throw a picture right here about how I always wanted my 335i to look. So I might actually end up Unwrapping and rewrapping, getting some wheels on this car down the road. I don't know, guys. You guys, let me know. I want to put the picture up on the screen. This is how I always envisioned my 335. But having a car like this in California, um, I guess like 335. You guys notice that all the laws and everything. Let me turn off the car so you guys can hear me better. So um, something that's new, guys, in California. I don't know if you guys know that. Uh, you know, TJ Hunt and everyone else is petitioning for is that recently they passed a law where. Uh, Exhaust tickets, you know, the exhaust fix-it tickets are no longer fix-it tickets. It's actually you pay a thousand dollar You know you pay a thousand dollars for the ticket. It's not a correction. I don't know what's it called correction It's straight up fine. You pay a thousand dollars and you have to go to court So that's something that just completely my a thousand dollars for having a modified exhaust I mean you you, you can buy a whole exhaust system for a thousand dollars Like I don't know what the heck they're thinking a lot of people are starting up petitions or you know uh, They're trying to like fight against it um, this, I don't know, it, it's kind of a crazy law that I really don't think is going to stay that long. Anyways, um, for everyone that has modified cars, stay low for the next month or two until they all figure this whole law situation out in California. And um, just trying to help my fellow BMW brothers so you don't get ticketed and you can't do mods to your car anymore. Actually, dude, that actually looks good. Damn, that actually looks good. I'll, now I'm looking at it one more time, it looks pretty good. I ain't going to lie. Damn. 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 Okay. Huh? Chipotle? No Chipotle. Nope. We didn't earn it yet. 
Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's that, that that's pretty much the end of this video. I just want to talk about the whole law situation. I don't know. I don't want to say bye to you guys. But anyways, I don't know. Miss you guys. Miss you guys. But um, okay. Let's do this. 400 likes, guys. Let's do 400 likes, and uh, we'll go ahead and install the headlights and get the pretty much the whole front end together. This is what they want. This is this is one of the things they want to see. Honestly, the views on that video and the likes on that video do just on this car do just as good as this car. I can tell the 330i you guys are the biggest fan of, but um, 400 likes, guys. We'll start working on this car. So, um, just something to update you guys with the 330i. It's still at the shop. Um, this is mostly like just trying to talk to you guys about a lot of things in this video. Uh, the 330i is still at the shop, and um, basically, he's working on the tranny. And uh, he's saying that it's just taking a little bit longer than he expected because he had to get the other car in the garage to take the train out of the other car and take the train out of my car, swap them out, swap the fluids, swap the computer, swap all that stuff. So I shout out to him. He's giving me a stupid good deal. So I'm not going to complain. He said he sh it should be done in the next two days. So I'll go pick it up if that's the case. If not, we'll hold back on it. But once it gets here, I'll show you guys, you know, um, how it drives and, you know, what's the difference after the training swap. Uh, so without further ado, guys, make sure to smash the like button, 400 likes, another video on the 328 F30. Um... <laughs> And yeah, that's pretty much concludes the video. Remember to stay humble and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.